Hi guys, uh, Phil, thanks for your post on the forum. Interesting, um, I've got to tour with James Morrison, as you probably know, but uh, Elvis, I sadly never got to play with. Uh, it's really difficult to give you a definitive answer in regards to your question without seeing the process in which you're taking. Now, my advice is, You've got the singing C. Is it um, sympathetic oscillation? Is it body's concert hall? Is it effortless? Is it just falling out? Or are you engaging? That's number one. Then when you find that, of course, going through Largo, you've got C, D, E, F, and G, all the uh, exercises there, making sure the process is pure. It's all about the sensation of freedom uh, and then the connection to the range that you're talking about. Now, I'm not sure exactly what range you are talking about. Are we talking EFG at the top of the stave, or are we talking high C, or are we talking in the stratosphere? So, it's without seeing you, it's, it's difficult to surmise what you are doing. Uh, the James Morrison sort of approach with the, where you say the top lip under the bottom lip, I, I'm suspecting you're meaning a kind of a role in but don't be deceived by what you see uh what you actually witness from the outside and what's going on on the inside could be really different so i don't want you to jump to conclusions there so when i do my elvis impersonation <laughs> so it's a bit hard to pick but i, I think you mean rolling out milk spout now if you haven't seen the milk spout folks Bottom lip rolled forward, finger between the teeth, horizontal inward movement of the aperture corners. So what it's a process like all practice. I can give you examples, explanations, demonstrations. Then you put it to work and find what works for you based on the sensation, based on the feeling that you have. And it's unique to you. You're subjective um, idea of what you're doing could be different to everyone else. So it's quite difficult for anyone else to comment on what you perceive that you are doing, but you can tell the difference. What are the most important aspects of playing? Sound, flexibility, the freedom. So sound is number one, and I would never want you to manipulate pure process which I call like the synthetic oscillation to facilitate a higher register that doesn't have the sound. But then you might have the sound and feel that you're limited. Ultimately, that's the way I want you to go. And then with that sound and pure process, we can develop range. There's no quick fix to this. And before you came to Windworks, you were already playing. So I'm guessing that you were limited in your playing, you'd hit a, a, a level that you couldn't breach. So whilst a lot of subscribers will know, you have to take a lot of steps back in order to move forward because you're unlocking a lot of manipulation. But that doesn't mean you don't keep playing the way that you were. And over time, what you're working on here seeps in, morphs into your, your regular playing. I never recommend people stop playing, put their horn down completely and start from scratch because a lot of people, of course, are professional players and you're touring and you've got to do gigs and things like that. So even though the last couple of years you've had to have taken some time off, now everything's starting to open up again. You, you would have wanted to maintain a degree of what you had, even if you were trying to make changes. So it's, it's a very tricky uh, process to learn and understand the new approach and then to uh, adapt it into your playing. Because after all, unless you've started from complete scratch here, you're not doing everything wrong. We're just trying to eliminate the unnecessary involuntary muscular activation. So it's impossible to say which way to go. It's all about the connection to the singing sea, the freedom, and it's trial and error. And each day will be different. You'll have days where things just click, cycle of T's. 
which ones click. They all click at the same time occasionally. You go, there it is, and then you can't find it the next day, and people panic. Don't panic. Stick with the process that made you find it in the first place, and it will return. I remember being, you know, when I was at university, especially trying to develop a lot of advanced skills, getting nowhere, but then once upon a time, the day would come and you, it just worked. Today it worked. And you have in your head, oh, I'm going to be able to do that forever. And of course it disappears and the brain starts going, you're never going to do that again. You, 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 that was lucky and it's never going to happen again. Now, of course, that's illogical. Like with the golf, you just stick with the process, stick with the process. And eventually you have another good day, then a bad day, then a bad day, then a good day. So, uh, without again, without seeing you, and feel free on the forum here, do for let's make it a public discussion if you like, because you're posted on the forum about this, which I really respect you for. Uh, give us a demonstration. And I'm more than happy to watch it and, and sit here and, and do an analysis on what you're doing. And it will be beneficial for you and for other subscribers that may be having very much the same issue. Uh, I know that there is confusion about the aperture corners. Let me just go on to that. I'm going to introduce <laughs> into the into the course. I'm calling it, oh, where do we go here? I'll get a better picture. But basically, X marks the spot. And I've been getting some people to put crosses on their fingers. So when they go to do this, they actually do put the fingers on the aperture corners. Oh, the light's not very good here. Oh, hang on, that's getting there. On the aperture corners, right? Fingers on the aperture corners, not on the corners of the mouth. And I can say it 10,000 times, and then someone who I've ever given lessons to could come back and go, oh, you meant the aperture corners, the corners of the aperture, not the corners of the mouth. And I go, oh, I probably should have said that. <laughs> All right. So once we, body's concert hall, sympathetic oscillation of the lip and passive reduction of the body. Is that turning into, Erin? There's no work involved in doing that, and everyone wants to engage. Hence the check out through the body. Are you engaging anywhere? Is it really passive? Really passive? And then uh, work up from there and be really conscious of where you start to engage, if the throat starts to go, if you start to pinch down. So it's when that sensation of freedom disappears that you know that there's where you need to work and I think that covers it <laughs> so just for, for for your sake here I've just picked this up cold but the feeling of the camera just went blurry body engagement there on the short notes you can tell when I start talking to you okay there's nothing that lets go downstairs because it's just using the mouth compression of the mouth so I suspect that when you're doing your different setups you might be manipulating the lips in a little bit of a different way so then you're going to have to use extra body air pressure like excess air compression to get the vibration to happen now we don't want that uh, so that's why you know the, the exercises have developed the way that they are now you said the allegro stage so you're starting to get up you know from the middle c up to the g above the stage be really aware of what you're doing and recognize you can play a high c like that okay um and again i want to stress to everyone that's watching this mm, notice the breath and i'm going to start using the word drop a lot Mm, everyone wants to engage, elevate, lift up, and have a listen to what it does to my voice. Versus drop, mm, passive reduction. There's the energy. Get the energy in the cup. If the corners are in the right position and the tongue's in the right position. There's no blow. 
Mm, sit there, take a breath. If you're watching this, sit there, take a breath, take a backswing. Mm, and recognize how nothing you're doing. It's the release of the slingshot, the bow and arrow. Don't hang on to it. Don't try and throw the arrow. Don't try and throw the stone. That reduces energy. Pull back to the highest tensions in the art of archery and release. Don't blow and get that sensation. Then I had a focal dystonia student this morning who pinches right down when she's playing. So we're playing a game of what do I want? What don't I want? What don't I want is this. What do I want? At the moment, they're not aware of the shape, but the process, perfect. What we don't want, oh no, that, and a lot of you watching will recognize this. Try it on your instrument. Play a low C and you'll engage and you'll find tightness around here versus okay so i could ramble on for ages about this uh but phil please uh if you wish uh i understand if you don't want to but if you'd like to say hi guys how you going um look these are the two setups that i'm curious about and and show us a little bit of what you can do and there's no pressure you don't have to do this it can be very confronting to people uh but anyway um all the best for 2022 folks uh i'm going to be around a lot more my golf has reached a point now where i've learned a lot about the swing so it's less wheels turning in the brain of course i need to practice and eliminate the bad shots but the it's no different the learning process is exactly the same as the trumpet finding the errors and fixing them and allowing the juices released by frustration uh, acetylcholine epinephrine more frustration more frustration more frustration then you hit a good shot or you play a great note and that releases dopamine and it starts to create the new neural pathway cement it with myelin uh it's complex stuff but it's really really fun so if you're just watching this and you're you know considering joining windworks please come and join us or if you're a member just remember that the learning process is not about just playing the exercises and using muscles it's about understanding what we're working on and being able to recognize errors manipulation and then over time hence the whole concept of the cycle of t's you just invite these different elements into your playing and eventually they'll turn up they can't not they all and one day that day where everything works they all turn up at the same time but independently it might just be the the body's concert hall close your eyes i i might as well add this in since i'm going so long most people are doing it wrong check Ow, ow. Notice the teeth don't have to come together when you're learning the horizontal inward movement of the aperture corners. Make sure you're doing this right. And yes, this mau is a pedal note on a trombone. So why is it important? We're learning body resonance and freedom, the sensation of freedom, where pitch change comes from, aperture corners, horizontal engagement. Do they come in or not? doesn't really matter you'll feel more work but you don't want to feel any choking and back pressure we're converting the energy from the breath into sound so we've got to get the energy into the mouthpiece and not pinch the lips down so the horizontal inward movement is teaching you not to pinch down it's all there but you've got to make sure that there's no illusion of competence and you are really adhering to the pretty precise well, very precise demonstrations that I'm giving you. Uh, anyway, I will <laughs> stop now. I'm around a lot. Uh, so stay in touch. Let's get this forum happening. Uh, the last couple of years have been quite trying on everyone, myself included. And this year, uh, whilst the world's still in a weird place, I really want to get this place cranking. So please, if you've got friends that play, bring them across you know 
uh, let's get these conversations happening. I'm just having such great experiences with a lot of uh, subscribers, some full on players. I can't mention names, but it's awesome what they're, the changes that they're making in their playing. Uh, and beginners, all sorts. So please come and join me. And thanks again for being part of WinWorks. And uh, let's get this thing really rocking. Have a good day.